Hi, I'm Josh Williams, and welcome to Chronic Zing's Unsung Heroes, where we showcase ordinary individuals and the extraordinary things they do for others. Today you will meet Smitty Wilcox, a 22-year-old Ohio resident who spends each and every day serving others. This is his remarkable story. My name is Smitty Wilcox. I'm 22 years old and I live in Berryville, Ohio. Every morning I wake up at 5 a.m. and I take a shower. And then, uh, and then I dry off. Um, so people always say, Smitty, why do you wake up at 5 a.m.? <laughs> well, I tell them that that's my shower time. Well, then I eat some breakfast and then I walk six blocks to the center of town, which is when my work starts. Cause you don't need a watch when Smitty's around Cause I know the time and I shout it out loud Cause I'm Smitty And I tell the time for you So you get to the center of town and you do what? I call out the time <laughs> I yell it really loud. Why? Well, so that people know what time it is. You know, so they aren't late. What would they be late for? All kinds of things. You're late for school, late for work, late for dentist appointment, a hair appointment, late for a golden movie, eating dinner, a hair appointment, walking your pets, picking up your kids, a hair appointment, a hair appointment, and, uh, Late for school, late for work, late for dentist appointment, a hair appointment, late for a golden movie, eating dinner, a hair appointment, walking your pets, picking up your kids, a hair appointment, a hair appointment, and uh, chasing lightning bugs. There's all sorts of things. Hey guys, how you doing? Hi. Good. How you doing? Good. <laughs> 517! Now some people even say thank you Smitty when I tell them the time but but some people get mad because I yell too loud but I think that most people are glad I do it but some people aren't. I yell too loud sometimes. Ah, you guys want a peanut? All right. I always bring my lunch with me. I usually make peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> They're real good. Sometimes I put jelly on them too when it's my birthday. <laughs> Sometimes I pretend like it's my birthday just so I can have jelly. Grape jelly is good. So do you go out there every single day? Uh, yeah. Don't you ever have a day where you just think to yourself that you just don't feel like telling people the time. No, that's my job. I like it. But you don't get paid for it. Where do you get your money? I don't know. I find it. You find your money? I don't know. It's 111! I've never missed a day. One day I got out there at 6 o'clock at night though. I couldn't find my pants. I found them in the refrigerator. They were real cold. They, I thought they were orange juice. <laughs> but they were my pants. Do you think that you, Smitty Wilcox, are a hero? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, kinda, I guess. And what makes you a hero? I tell people the time. And you think they need that? Yeah. Why can't they just look at their watch when they want to know the time? Smitty? <laughs> Smitty Wilcox has not been back to town to tell the time since our interview. In fact, no one has seen him. We have received several thank you letters from the town of Berryville. Some of them speculate that Smitty spends all day every day in his house. Others say that he threw himself off the Berryville Bridge. 
But wherever Smitty Wilcox may be, there is no doubt that he is a very special person. I'm Josh Williams. Thank you for watching Chronic Zing's Unsung Heroes.